Hey everybody, my name's Zeb. Welcome back to Grazing Them Acres. So today we're down here in the bottom part of our pasture again, over here next to the pig lot that we just got finished up. We've got two major problems down here. So we have this massive wash and I have backfilled the banks back in several times throughout the years and it just keeps washing off every time we get a big rain. So this is our first problem is we, we need to address this washout problem here in our spring. Our second problem is, is we don't have any pressurized water uh, for our livestock in the barnyard and we're trying to get water to our pig pen over here. So my plan is, is I'm going to clean this up and we're going to try to build a pond down here to slow this water down as it comes down through this valley and it'll give us a source of water that we can pump out of. I'm thinking about maybe putting in a solarized pump. That way we can get pressured water up to the barn and I can also fill up my pig water, my, my tank over here for my pig water. So we're gonna get the transit out this morning and uh, we're gonna shoot some grade elevation. Uh, see what kind of fall we have here from the, from the head of the spring over here all the way back down to this bottom side down here where I wanna build the dam see what kind of water level we can get in here. We'll see how that goes. So we've got this set. Um, right now it's at seven foot, four and a half inches. And so we'll take it up there and we'll move it down to wherever the laser lines up with it. And then that, that way we can tell how much fall we have in, in uh, this distance here. All right, so we're down here in the spring head now. And you can see how much this has eroded. That's probably 10 to 12 feet deep right here. And you can see everywhere that the spring is seeping out up here at the top. So we got roughly three feet, three inches of fall from the head all the way down to where the, uh, I want the dam to be. So now we can figure out exactly how high the water level is gonna be depending on how high I make the dam. And we can go around and we can paint uh, the water level paint a line on the bank everywhere. All right, so we got everything marked out of where the water level is gonna be if we don't raise it any. You can see my pink lines up here on the bank. And like I said earlier, we've got multiple, multiple springs uh, that, that feed this little creek here that weep out. And uh, so our water level is gonna be all the way up here, but you can see the, you know, the, the spring water comes out way up above from where our water level would be. I don't think we'll have any problem with damaging the spring or anything. What about those? you clear my way for me? Just go throw them, buddy. It's all right. It's fire. And you can see all the muck down here. As of right now, we left the cows in here to drink, uh, but we're planning on fencing this out. And that's another reason that I want to make this a pond is to kind of keep this a little bit clearer. I'm stuck right here in this mud. Uh, uh, uh. Help me. So, let me get him unstuck. Oh, I might get stuck too. Don't lose your boot, buddy. I won't. You gonna lose it? Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you. Turn around and go back so you don't get stuck again. Oh. Why? Why? Because I don't want you losing your boot in here. I may lose mine too. Look. Oh, you were stuck. We're at Drive one foot on. nine and a half right here. So I'm just going to paint some lines and then we can compare the difference between the water levels of down here where the spring runs and then up here where I want it to go. We got our two water levels marked out. Y'all can see the, the two different paint lines on the bank over there. We've got those marked all the way up to the head of the spring. You can see this mark up here, that's still gonna be the water level if we move the water level up at the top of the spring to where the spring head was. And uh, I'll give y'all a little bit better view down from in here. I don't think that's gonna work because that paint mark is right there and that's right at the top of our bank. So if we get a big uh, rain or something and it washes down through here, it can wash over top of the dam. And, and that's not something that I want to happen. But you can see just how much the water level changes just down here at the bottom, just by raising it up, you know, maybe a foot or so at the top. And you know, we've probably gained two or three feet of water level down here near the bottom so i'll probably wind up going somewhere in between these two just because uh i do want the water level a little bit higher than you know where it is at the bottom i'd like to have it more closer to the top so we'll probably wind up just making it somewhere in between the two so we'll get these trees marked out which ones need to go and i'm gonna clean these banks up, pull all this dirt and trash and sticks and stuff back out with the excavator. So that'll be our next project. Y'all make sure to like this video and comment on it if you have any questions on anything that I'm doing. And uh, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification so you can follow us uh, when we start this project and cleaning this spring out and, and taking these trees down and stuff. So we got the excavator down here and uh, what we're going to be using for this pond project and cleaning all this up is a early 90s model Caterpillar E70B. It's uh, probably about a 15,000 pound machine somewhere around in there so it'll be plenty for, for what we're going to use it for. But uh, we're going to get in here and just clean these banks up a little bit, get all these roots and stuff out. We'll work on taking down the trees probably tomorrow or something or maybe the next day. And I wanna cut these banks off and, and make them all even, get all these curves out along with that bank over there and, and just clean these up, get all the roots and briars and stuff out and uh, just shape it up a little bit. And uh, we'll move our way down, down that way.
All right, everybody, so it's uh, a few days later here, and we didn't get a whole lot done the other day. It was just miserably hot, but we did get a little bit of the banks cleaned up. Uh, just picked up some more of that uh, sticks and trash out of there. But today, we're going to work on cutting down some of these bigger trees out of the spring head. We can try to get them root balls out. Um, so there's three different trees right here that we're going to try to work on cutting out. And uh, I'm going to try to lay them uphill out of the way and uh, we'll get them moved around with the track hoe. So we'll get y'all set up and uh, we'll work on taking out these three trees. Still working on this big one down here. It's got a pretty big root ball, so uh, we may wind up just having to cut it off and leave the stump in there, but we're gonna work on it a little bit longer. Um. 